Hey everyone, I am here to do a Project Polish 2016 restart, redo. I'm trying the Project Polish again. So last year in 2015, I attempted to do a Project Polish with seven nail polishes and it was a total fail probably my least successful project ever and I was just really disappointed in myself so I'm gonna try and take another crack at it um, I am actually using the same colors as before I thought about switching them out but I had already made some progress on all of them so I'm gonna keep the same seven polishes in and I think really what was tripping me up was that everyone else seemed to be going so much faster in their project polishes and I was doing my nails as like every other day as as frequently as I felt was reasonable and I I didn't really think about it but pretty much all of my bottles except for one were completely full they were all full size half ounce polishes and none of them were super sheer so there wasn't one that I had to put on seven coats or you know it uh, wasn't a really chunky glitter that used up a lot of product so this year my goal instead of trying to finish off the polishes I'm just going to try and hit the halfway mark I'm not gonna draw halfway mark lines on them right now I might do that later with tape or something but um, for right now I just have them unmarked all of the markings wore off that I had on them before so it's kind of like we're starting fresh so here are the seven polishes and um, I'll just let you know which they are in case you didn't see mine last year SC dive bar OPI just spotted the lizard, Zoya Happy, Zoya Shelby, OPI Miami Beat, Zoya America, and OPI Roll in the Hague. So they're all quite full. This is Essie Dive Bar. I think it's right near the top up there. Here is OPI just spotted the lizard. You can see it's right there. OPI Roll in the Hague is actually up here still. OPI Miami Beat is right around there. Zoya America is right around there. Zoya Shelby is right there. And Zoya Happy is right up there. If you can, sorry, right around there. So I will put markings on those once I'm done with the video just so we can see any changes. I'm going to try and do updates like every two months, something like that. Once summer hits, I may take a break from this because I have a lot of really fun summer colors that I didn't get to play with at all last year because I was still really trying to work on these. So that's kind of something that I might, you know, have to look at once once I'm down that road. But so my my plan is to hit 50%, use a half of it. In my mind, that's kind of equivalent to hitting pan on a powder product. If you hit pan on a powder product, it's probably about 50% of it used up. So that's kind of what I'm going to try and do for the polishes. So that's my plan. Those are my seven polishes again. I'm going to try harder. Wish me luck, guys, because this is definitely the most challenging project in, for me. Um, I do have on OPI Dive Bar, or SC Dive Bar, and OPI Just Spotted the Lizard as an ombre. Um, and that's a good way to use up more polish because, you know, you kind of have to put it on a sponge and it ends up using it more polished that way. So I'm gonna try and do more of those. I'm also gonna to try to do more layering. Here's some of uh, the shimmery colors over the cream colors. So I'm gonna try and do more of that as well. If you have any other tips, hints, or suggestions for Project Polish, let me know. And thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.